I'm going to stop talk for the rest of the year. You see, after I said this, when I said this morning, I don't care what I say. I don't say nothing more for the rest of the year. Anything we may have said for the rest of the year. I forgot to be totally where the Almighty said to say. So if you don't care, share the live here and save it. It's a historic moment for me personally right now. I'm fed up. I'm tired. I want to see a guan in my country. I watch everyone who could have make a difference. Either dead or if you run away or if you turn aside or just give up. We don't know where give up feel like. We don't know where stop do it feel like. We don't know where turn from God feel like. I have never done any evil in front of the face of the Almighty Creator. From a barn out of my mother, me a tried one road away. way. Me no overs it, but me no fight it. My barn out of a very prominent family here on the island, Derek Morgan. The skeleton is my father. Derek Morgan, responsible for letting in and introducing Bob Marley. But my father sing the first independent song of this country. That is who Queen Africa father is. O.D. My family is small. We don't ever see any of my family them from Derek Morgan's side come out and defend me in a no way, shape, or form. No want someone tell me if them ever see Derek Morgan. Family them. I have more than 17 brothers and sisters. We don't ever see one of them. Well, big up yourself, Michelle Morgan. I love you, baby. You're my big sister, but I got to do this. See? So I am here to this tune of Jamaican music by DNA rights. Me I know the celebrity overnight. Me born a celebrity. So listen to this. Why is Queen Africa does always not stopping, not moving back, no matter what? She keep pushing, she keep saying, do better by my country. Do, you know why? Because I identify with the part of my country that you all are standing on and looking on and watching die. And I refuse to die with them. So me live, so me live, me live, me live, so that youths can see, so you can live after atrocities, you can live after anything will happen into you in your life, you can live. You don't have to be a victim of your circumstances. You can rise above it. You can stand up and say, I am proud of myself for going through all the things that I've been through. But I can stand up and say, because I love myself so much, you did not get me to feel myself. I never knew my father when I was growing up. I was only always hearing about the fact that I have a father that is famous. And God rest the soul of my grandfather, Mr. Gibson Walsh, who always, always reminded me that I was the girl for the money. He always used to say, you are the girl for the money.
I never knew my father when I was growing up. All of my other siblings, not siblings, some of my cousins and so, they had even, I, they, they met their dad, they, they had argue, conversations with their dad. I never knew my father. I never knew my mother. I never had a mother and a father around when I was growing up. It was just family members. And this morning, I will make my first attempt to contribute to the breaking of this generational curse of darkness. We sit down over a particular set of Jamaican women and men that cause predators to, to lurk in our families' lives. Them in our families, them, and you have the families divided and split down the middle because no one wants to stand up and speak the truth and help the family members that are suffering from all the different types of tell you drug one in some family. So I'm not telling you this morning why me not walk away and me will never walk away. Till this over. I tried everything to meet my father, Derek Morgan. You hear what I'm named? Derek Morgan. You see where there's something downtown name? It named Derek Morgan too. That is why I say I never want to call it name. But when I look into it, I say, why God would I choose to make a creature like this surface i googled your age last night you are 83 now yeah one of we found in fathers in other music big man thing you're an embarrassment to humanity you are one of the most disgusting human being I don't hear your side of the story yet. And usually, I don't do this. Usually, I me, 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 me wait for hear your side of the story. But, I kind of believe I freak, you know. I kind of believe everything she has done, you know. And how can you be a missing father? And when you reappear in the girl life, you come do all this, rude boy? Deeper than by badges, give thanks. Like, how can first she go through trauma because she don't have a father? And then the father appear and comes care her as a life? Make us say some things to them. And if you are not, at a high level of overstanding, you will not comprehend not what me ask. Not big up yourself. Repeat myself. I am going to say some things now. Old G Bobby buy somebody's gift tanks. I am going to say some things now. If you are not at a high, high level, so now we go get back to the reality. Derek Morgan. Superstar, big artist, absent father. You return in your daughter life when she there teenage years. Here, why me know say if what Queen Africa is saying is true, you are a sick person. I am not going to sit here. You have some woman where dress a certain way. We're born with assets where you obviously can't see past it. So you have to have stronger composure with them. Queen Africa and our woman with big old body and big old dress and dress and all of them, some of them. So, what could have happened to you so as a big superstar? If you see a little daughter and then you go tell her, say, your woman not gain a front, go buy crap 
is bomba what? Let me come up. Go and buy front. Yeah, artists. Yeah, I can get front my youth. People remember them time that him a top top artist, you know. Him have money. So you have to understand that Tony Rebel. On a big man level, you might have to be the one to bring back Africa to a hundred percent where she wanna be. You know if you de back with her right now. Cause whatever the reason it is making a split, me don't know. But you have to understand that she not having a father, then having a father, oh my sir, then then having a stepfather, you were a, a rock, you were a sanctuary. Cause even before she gave you front, Gianna Link, she see you as that type of person. Eh? You understand? Even if him create only for a trauma. He might the person we have to go translate out because she see him as our rock and our place, as our partner, as our confidant, as somebody where she needs to go um, vent and tell everything. So probably he might have to go just be the cushion the fear and give her back her sanity. Because we can't afford to lose Africa. No? We, we really cannot afford for Queen Africa to eat all the rubbish pan and not have it together and at all. We need Queen Africa in the game. For the moral standards of our culture, for the trajectory of true values as a female, we need Queen Africa. Need. Not about wanting her. Need Queen Africa. Cause Tanya Stephen them feel we're ready. Diana King them feel we're ready. Ninety percent, ninety-nine percent of the new female artists them feel we're ready. Them are lesbian, them believe in a dirty life. Them, them are lead the whole future generation in the rubbish pan. We need Queen Africa. So Tony Rebel, I'm saying this to you. If you really and truly love Jamaican culture, no matter how your eager eye, no matter how angry you are, no matter how resistant you are, no matter how you don't want to see her, 